We're outside the already world-famous Sapporo Dome, and I say already because it only opened in 2002 for the Soccer World Cup. The Sapporo Dome plays host to professional baseball, soccer, concerts, all sorts of cultural events. Today, Sapporo's professional baseball team, the Nippon Ham Fighters, are taking out the boys from Kobe. Let's play ball! We're very honored to be joined by Trey Hillman, who's the manager of the Nippon Ham Fighters. You're one of only, are there two uh, American managers in Japan? Two American managers right now, Bobby Valentine and myself. How is baseball different in Japan versus in the States? Well, the thing is, atmospherically, it's a lot different in the stands. You've got bands. It's more like college football in the stands. Uh, out on the field, they tend to play the small game a little bit more than they do the big game. So how'd you get this gig? Well, we had a relationship. I was with the New York Yankees for 13 years, and we had a working relationship with the uh, Nippon Ham Fighters. They would ship players over to us during the fall and early spring. And so over the years with the Yankees, I developed a little bit of a relationship. And then when I was minor league director and field coordinator for the Texas Rangers, they called and asked me in 2002 if I'd be interested in coming over. This is an almost life-size picture of the most popular player for the Nippon Ham Fighters, Shinjo. He used to play for the Mets, played for the, for the San Francisco Giants. And uh, the girls on our crew think he's pretty hot. Kind of looks like Johnny Depp. So if you want to look like Shinjo, act like Shinjo, and get all the chicks like Shinjo, you got to dress like Shinjo. Bring it on, chicks. And he just hit a home run. Only girls sell beer in the stands. In fact, it's kind of a competition between them. One girl sold over 300 cups of beer in only one game. And I think it's maybe time for us to uh, pop up one of those Sapporos. So you can definitely tell this is a big deal during all the Ham Fighter games. BB the cute mascot goes and comes up and actually signs autographs for all these people. Check out this line, you guys. I think all the fans are in line. player that comes up to bat for Nippon Ham Fighters has his own song. So these guys are playing, whoever this batter is, that's his song. This is like the, the most famous, probably most high quality burger place in all of Sapporo that we're, to, we're told by our interpreters is Moss Burger. Apparently it's like really super high quality above our fast food chains. You got burger and fries, you've got corn dogs, you've got hot dogs. What, what's baseball without hot dogs and beer, right? This is a pretty cool thing, and I'm sure this is probably one of the most popular lunches here at the Sapporo Dome. It's the Fighter's Bento Box, which means lunch box. And the cool thing is here, check this out, it's, it's in the form of a baseball field. They say the Sapporo Dome is the highest tech dome anywhere in the world, and I believe it. Check this out. They've got a hovering soccer stage, so when they want to make this a soccer stadium and not a baseball stadium, they open those glass doors over there, and they rotate and sort of roll this soccer field. It's about 8,000 plus tons. It takes about an hour to roll inside, but voila, you've got a soccer field. Nowhere else in the world do they have that. Okay, we're at the ticket office outside the Sapporo Dome, and if you want to know like what it's going to cost you to go see a game, you come to Sapporo. This means adults, and this is the outfield section that we were in where the fans were going crazy. So it's 1,500 yen for adults. This means children. 800 yen for children. That's not such a bad price to come and see the Nippon Ham Fighters. About 15 bucks for adults, 8 bucks for kids. Lots of entertainment. Thanks. 